The Ateneo School of Government is the graduate uh, school of leadership and public service of the Ateneo de Manila University. Our mission is to help build a prosperous and just uh, Philippines by transforming communities all over the ground. At this stage of Philippine history and development, trying to create trust at a national level is very difficult. So we felt that local governments, cities, uh, towns, provinces was the correct scale. Our vision is to create very strong subgroups, towns, cities, uh, provinces, uh, and then interconnect them. I always tell people that while in the 1970s we faced the challenge of uh, liberating people from a dictatorship, we have not liberated our people from the greatest slavery, which is poverty. So I'm very, very proud of a lot of our young people today who commit themselves in big and small ways to, to really engage this problem and who measure, who measure what they do in terms of the number of people and individuals for whom they have given hope for a better life and hope that they and their families and their communities can come out of poverty. So to you, we want to you. produce not only leaders, but leaders who will develop new, innovative, sustainable solutions to the social problems of our country. Young people, old people, uh, professionals, anyone who wants to be a change maker for our country, they can just go to us and we'll give them programs. And we have seen some of these uh, uh, programs become successful. We have uh, students who set up their own social enterprises, like uh, Change for Change, Bilabag. These social enterprises are student-run. They were created with help from the School of Government in cooperation with the John Gokongwei School of Management. I think change has to start not from the person beside you, <clears throat> not from the government leader that you are criticizing, but it has to start from you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Ateneo Bayani Assembly. Kawan Kalinga Ateneo Bayani Assembly towards new frontiers for nation building. The idea is GK's is great movement about doing a lot of things for, for, for our people and giving the poor a chance at something. At the core of GK is, of course, you know, the houses and building communities. But after four years of building, you know, uh, communities, we had now 2,000 communities all over the country, uh, affecting roughly half a million lives already. Because, uh, like what Secretary uh, uh, Nono Cruz uh, said, that we are able to do this in partnership with, uh, with uh, many uh, stakeholders, and because there is already a popular and credible branding, it's easy now to get people to come together. No, and uh, so with the credibility of the academic institutions, with the major corporations that are working with us, and with the support of the best leaders in, in, in government, we are able now to really claim that the work of Gawad Kalinga is nation building. And so, and like so the Builders the Institute, the first and, ever Builders Institute in the country was put up in, in the ASOG. The Ateneo School of Government has partnered with Gawad Kalinga to actually help in uh, marketing GK, introducing GK to so many local governments, but more importantly, helping local governments implement Gawad Kalinga. Ito 
yung pagkikita ko, itong partnership ng gobyerno at private sector, talagang it works. It gives hope. And it gives back human, uh, human dignity. Pag mayor ka ngayon, at wala kang gawad kalinga, hindi ka in. So, what we're trying to do here in the School of Governance is actually harness that potential for governance. Because GK is really focused on building communities. Us, we're building a new network of, of leaders. Because that's one thing we don't realize with them. Eh. Normal na silang tao. They're just an ordinary Filipino wanting to do something good. And you have to trust that goodness. No matter how big or how little is left of that, you have to trust it and nurture it. Especially Mr. Harvey K. Uh, engage uh, local chief executives and other uh, politicians like legislators in the Philippines so that uh, we can tell everyone that uh, good governance and ethical leadership are not dreams for the country, but they are already happening. They are realities in our respective uh, local government units. As I go around the country talking to students, talking to student young leaders, many of them have already said, pare-pareho naman ang gobyerno natin, pare-pareho naman na nandiyan, pare-pareho magnanakaw, pare-pareho wala namang ginagawa. But when we bring the kaya natin champions to them, and they hear the kaya natin champions, they realize that, hey, you know, hindi naman pala lahat ganun. And now, as of November 8, ang nangyari na po, dahil sa napakaganda ng performance sa aming mga departments, at kasama namin ang mamamayang our people, our friends, na mayroon po kompetensya, mayroon po kagalingan, nandiyan po yung puso niya, at sa po yung mabuting tao, mayroon po kaya na mamuno, yakakin po natin sila na pumasok sa politika. Ano po? Kaya sa ganoon, mayroon po choices ng mga tao, at ang mga tao po ay mag-inspire na po pwede ng mabuting tao. Ang gobyerno ay hinuhubog ng mamamayan, hindi lang siya hinuhubog ng mga namumuno. At kung may paraan na ang gobyerno puhubugin ng mga tao, palagay ko po wala na bang mamamayan na nais niya, hindi maayos yung kanyang pamunungan. We are, we're only human and uh, we are bound to tempt we are bound to make mistakes and succumb to temptations but if you but if you have set up a system that will that will require honesty transparency and accountability then then um, uh, we can uh, we can take this further accountability is something that government is most often very cautious about because it means opening your doors. It means allowing yourself to be criticized and to be, to be looked into more closely. We're talking to engineers who are, who are, who are um, you know, contributing their, their, their expertise so that the road watch group, you know, the Bantay Lansangan group, who's trying to see whether the investments of DPWH in the road, in the bridge, is according to the plan.